Hey guys, I'm Leonard Price, and how's it going? Today, whew, I, never thought, I never thought I'd actually talk about this. And honestly, this, most information is probably going to be edited on. Because right now I'm going to be ranting about the, the death threats to the creators or artists or freak everyone who had helped with the episode 14 of Darling and the Franks. I left this out purposely in my review because honestly, I didn't think I was going to talk about it, but I didn't think it would grow this big, so I thought, hey, I should put my two cents into it, and honestly, as someone who wants to become a story or manga, or just like something to get involved with anime and manga community, something like that, like a comic or a novel or whatever, I want to make something like that, and, this, and for this to happen, it's kind of discouraging in a way <laughs> because I see the community just lash out at the creators of the show for something so stupid. <laughs> like, okay, I get it, Ichigo. I was pretty annoyed by Ichigo. So, in a way, stopping Hero and, and Zero Two from meeting. Actually, not in a way. She totally stopped. Dude, she he totally did that. But. It ignored me, sure, but I wasn't angry. Okay, maybe I was a little bit angry. Okay, Ichigo, I'm gonna talk about Ichigo for one second here. <sighs> Ichigo, you're on the right character. I don't mind you as a character. I get why you're doing this, but come on, <laughs> you're doing this for your not for your own sake. You're doing this for your own. <laughs> it's obvious that when Hero's at his lowest point, he would make a move? <laughs> Honestly, I think, but from what I saw from it though, like, I just saw her biding her time for Zero Two to leave. That's what I saw. But then again, I also felt for Hero, because after that, like I said in my review, with that Zero Two, he's basically useless. So it's kind of ripping away his power. Ripping away his meaning to live. In both ways, because he loves Zero Two, which is blatantly obvious, and that he needs Zero Two to actually function as a Frank's pilot. Because he can't fly with anyone else. That is back to the main topic at hand. I'm not reviewing this episode again, so let's talk about the death threats. <laughs> so people are, are, um, are harassing the creators of Darling the Franks. I don't know which one exactly I might put on the screen somewhere. But yeah, so they're harassing the creators and death threats and just angriness and just disrespectful. Like, come on, guys. They're the guys who created the series. Okay, if you want to see what happens next, just leave them alone, goddamn. What if they just get so freaked out they quit the story altogether? Well, we can do what that happens, huh? Hmm? Okay, honestly, that's not going to happen because they make money. But if that didn't happen because of you guys... Wouldn't you guys feel bad? Because you don't get to see more of the story. You guys don't get to see nothing else. Just, that's how it ends. It's just like a blank ending. <laughs> but I guess that wouldn't be that bad of an episode. It'd be like a bad ending because Zero Two leaves and... Yeah. But anyways... Oh god. But this does really... just it doesn't sit right with me. Seeing all the people just being disrespectful. Or like... Not being mature. Just sending freaking death threats. Like, I'm still in high school, I'm pretty sure I'm more mature than the people who send in those things. Like, goddammit, why would you go to the creators and just send death threats? Like, why would this deserve someone's life? Because, just because, you um, Ichigo kids Tiro. And maybe blocked them, Zero Two and Hero from seeing each other. Does that really, in a fictional world, no less. Does that warrant death? <laughs> is, is that really warrant death? Like, I'm asking you this. Does, does like, uh, a ship warrant someone's death because it didn't go your way? Honestly, no it doesn't. But I'm not really getting the full story here. I'm just going off what I know. And it's, just, it's kind of funny. Like, it, these guys are so stupid. <laughs> Like, you're saying death threats because a fake snow character didn't get what you I don't even know what to say. This is kind of funny. 
Okay, this isn't the first time it's happened. Like, Taite Kubo got off, kicked off of. Well, he left Twitter because of harassing. And people started getting mad over Bleach. It's just. Okay. <laughs> and then, like, Horikoshi got harassed of when he made a picture in the girls in bikinis of the, the female cast of Academia. When the, to celebrate the season 3, like, that happened and people got mad, people just get mad so easily. Like, why are you harassing the creators for doing what they want with their characters? <laughs> but it's their story. They can tell it how they want, as long as it's eligible for the, the world to see. <laughs> so they can do what they want with their story. <laughs> so, But also, you do have the right to get mad about it, but you shouldn't send death threats. <laughs> Alright? This video really has no point to it. I'm just ranting on this stuff because it's pretty freaking... <laughs> you really have the time on your day to just send death threats to people? Like, they're trying their best to make a good story, and, and Dragon the Franks is a good story. <laughs> I've been personally enjoying it. Episode 14 may have annoyed me a little bit, but by far I still enjoyed the episode, even though disliking how it turned out. We all know Zero, Two, and Hero are gonna be coming together again, like, it's obvious. So I get mad about this now. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. The anime community has to be civilized. <laughs> Please, no more death threats. <sighs> this rant was get, went nowhere. Like honestly, I just rambled on a bunch of different things. But honestly, it feels better just to get off my chest because, like, honestly, I didn't think this would turn that big. Like, the other community can be pretty toxic at times, and honestly, I don't know why. You gotta realize it's not your story, of course, you can still get, you still have every right to get mad. But again, sending the death threats. Why? <laughs> Why are you sending death threats? Like, as a part of the anime community, I'm not very proud of this at all. Like, like, and usually the bad stuff gets more attention than the good, so this is not good for the anime community either. It's gonna shy away from new people coming to the community. <sighs> Guys, I just want you to know, just don't send death threats. Like, if you love the, if you like the story and all, you know, it's good, if something bad happens, and you don't like it, and you're really angry, I wouldn't, just, don't blame it on the creator. Don't get so mad about the, the creator, like, to the point of sending death threats. It's a story, it's a, it's a fiction. <laughs> and we all know Zero Two is gonna get in the end, right? They're gonna get together in the end. Like, if you look at it, it's, it's set up, because, like, they're on a, a the 90s and the, the Hero Squad are on the same mission next episode. So, what do you think is gonna happen? Zero Two and Hero are going to get together again. That's the obvious answer. But, anyways, honestly, I'm done rambling on for this video. I just wanted to rant, and I, I still have to something else to say, but I don't think it's necessary for the video, so I just wanted to rant, like, it's just something that bothered me, I don't even know how I presented this video, I just got on the camera and said, yes, I have something to say, sometimes the internet community can be very stupid, I'm, gonna, I'm calling out everyone who sent some death threats to the creators during the Franks, you guys are idiots. <laughs> like honestly, get, get your thinking straight. Before you send death threats, actually finish the story first. Because honestly, we all know Zero Two is gonna get it in the end. It's not that, it's pretty freaking obvious to see. Zero Two is the main girl. <laughs> so come on, don't send these goddamn death threats. You can dislike Ichigo all you want. 
But come on, the creators don't deserve this hate. As a, as a person who wants to become a creator of his own manga series one day, it's frightening to see that if I do one day do become successful and I do something to get the anime community mad that they start sending me death threats. <laughs> it's like, okay, I, hypothetically, I don't know what I would do. I'd be very freaking freaked out at the matter of fact. Honestly, I don't know how the feeling, but honestly, guys, it, no one deserves to be sent death threats. Like, come on, just enjoy it. If you enjoyed the series, enjoy the series. If you hate it to the point where you're gonna send death threats, just quit it. Like, if you, if you hate the, <laughs> if you hate it that much, why are you still watching it? Anyways, this video is way too long. This video is way, way, way too long. I'm very sorry for my rambling. If you find it to the end of this point in this video, I just really wanted to talk about this because I don't even know how to put it into words, but it very, very disappointed me in the anime community to send death threats to to the, the Link Frank's creators, and like, it's honestly, this isn't the first time it's happened either, but this is the first time I've, I've seen it happen, like, in the community when I was a part of it, and it's kind of just, it, it just, it's kind of just makes me disappointed in the community, honestly, because I've always thought that we're the most nicest community, but in this terms, when we don't, when something really bad happens or like something really annoying happens, we just get out of our chairs and start typing death threats to the creators. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm sure I'm not getting the full picture. I'm sure of it, but honestly, if you like those creators, just support them. Don't hate. If you really hate on something in the series, hate on the character because it, the character isn't real. The, the creator itself is real, just hate on the character, not the actual guy behind the scenes, because honestly, he doesn't deserve it. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, the bell, hit that, because if you want to see future videos, you need to hit that, apparently. YouTube's different now, I don't like it. Johnny.